Hi folks, welcome to the final part of the spectacle lens thickness and we are going to discuss on PD consideration in this particular video. So let's get started. So guys, when it comes to PD, there is uh, something called frame PD and we will see how to measure a frame PD and as you saw from the previous slide that there is something called IPD. So we are going to discuss both, right? So first let us see how to measure a frame PD. It is a measure from the temple end to the nasal end of the other side of the frame, right? So basically you just need to measure like this, okay? If not this, then you also can measure a frame PD from the prints that are available on the temple of the frame. Right, you can see a red color temple with which has a print here, and I'm going to take these two values 53 and 16. Now, 53 actually stands for the A size, and 16 size stands for the bridge size distance between the lens. Now, simple formula to use here to get the frame PD you just add both of these. So, 53 plus 16 put together becomes 69, that becomes your frame PD, and this frame PD is for the entire frame so it becomes binocular now if you just want to consider half side of the frame then you need to just divide it by 2 it becomes 34.5 as per the example here now moving along let us get into ipd you all must be knowing the distance between the pupil of both the eyes is your interpupillary distance and the distance from right eye till the center of nose becomes your right eye PD and left eye to the center of the nose becomes left eye PD. And we all of we all of us know that right eye PD and left eye PD are not always same, right? There are chances that right eye PD and left eye PD are different. So in this particular example, you can see the red line right eye PD is smaller compared to the left eye PD which is a brown line. So now we saw what is frame PD, we saw what is interpupillary distance IPD. Now how these two are connected? Just remember we are discussing on the thickness part. So in case you want to have a lesser thickness, it is better that the difference between the values of the frame PD and the IPD is as small as possible okay lesser the difference better will be the outcome if you want to reduce the thickness divide the frame pd by 2 as we discussed on the first slide to get the monocular value of the frame now as i said right eye pd and left eye pd is not same so while making decision make sure that you go with the smaller pd value say for example right eye has a pd 31 left eye has a pd value of 33 then you have to start considering 31 as the value which you will consider right now let us see some examples first let us get into what is optic center optic center is a center on the lens wherein the light passes without any deviation okay and we make sure that optic center is fitted on the pd for the best vision and easy adaptation so say for example your exact center of the lens the red circle happens to be your optic center now for in this example, we are taking just example of minus 8 spherical at 1.67 index. Just remember this, we are just going to take the, just this single, single lens for all the exercise that we are going to do forward. Now I would request all of you to be with me during the next, next set of slides to understand the concept because the concept may look complicated but it is very simple and easy to understand. So as you can see, there's a frame and I am not going to change this frame till the end of the presentation. We have nasal side, we have temporal side, simple clear explanation. Now we are going to see if the frame PD and the IPD has a huge difference, what is going to be the impact on the thickness of the lens that we are going to cut and put inside the frame. Here you can see that the eyes are slightly closer in and if you can look further closer you can see that the right eye you 
you can see the right eye is slightly outside and the left side is slightly inside. Now let us start putting a plotter on this to understand how far they are in and out. So your blue line which is exactly half of the frame becomes the frame PD and the green line is your IPD interpupillary distance. Now you can see the difference here if we take the right side of the lens the dif difference between the green line and the blue line is smaller but for the left side the difference between the green line and the blue line is wider right which indicates that left IPD is lesser when compared to the right IPD which is very obvious when we check the red and the brown arrow right IPD is bigger and left IPD is smaller. Now let us take a lens right and this is the same lens which we saw in the previous slide and I have marked the optic center on this lens. Now to understand what will be the thickness that will come on this lens let us mark the A size ok. So we have these two yellow lines I will just repeat again yellow lines gone and we are going to use this yellow lines as a reference which is your A size. Now what I am going to do is I am just going to ensure that the optic center is fitted on frame PD first. So I am just moving the lens to the optic center and then you can see that the thickness on the nasal side and the thickness on the temporal side the difference between these two are nominal and within the frame we do not have too much of thickness coming in right. Now let us consider if an optic center is fitted on the pupil right because our motto is to fit optic center on the pupil so that the customer gets the best vision easy adaptation no prismatic effect. So now I am just moving the optic center to customer PD mark. Now you can see this is where the catch is the PD is very inside and see the difference nasal side the red oval circle is much smaller but on the temple side where the customer actually looks for the thickness there is the maximum thickness which would come inside the frame right. Let us take a new one more example wherein the difference between frame PD and IPD is less ok. I am keeping the same frame I am going to use the same lens blank and let us see what impact it has right. So you can see the eyes are well placed in the center of the frame widely apart we can see the frame PD and IPD here and as I discussed earlier the difference between the blue line and the green line is much much less here. Moreover we are lucky here that both the eyes are almost having the same PD right. So let us start doing the plotting for this to understand how much thickness is going to come considering that the frame has not changed and considering that the lens has not changed right. The only thing that has changed here is the IPD right this is a wider IPD wider interpupillary distance. So let us take a blank. Now let us look let us first have a reference mark let us have yellow lines here there and now let us try moving our blank the optic center let us fit the optic center on the pupil. So there it goes and yeah so you can see here the difference between the two red oval circle is nominal and the thickness part which is going to come inside the frame is also minimum right. So this clearly explains that PD definitely has impact on thickness we should ensure that we select right frame for the IPD and it also becomes scientific when you are going to check the PD first and then recommend frames for your customer. So it is important that you know the IPD of the customer it is important you know how to calculate the frame PD and basis that you can suggest the best frame for your customer where thickness profile can be maintained or the outcome which we are expecting comes better. So guys quiz time there are four options that you can see here and all I want you to do is select the best combination from below ok. I will just read out for you so that you get time to see this slide to make your choice 
the best combination from the below you have to select frame PD 71, IPD 65, frame PD 69, IPD 66, frame PD 72, IPD 63, frame PD 67, IPD 72. Just for your information, frame PD happens to be your A size plus DBL, IPD happens to be the difference, uh, not difference, sorry, the addition of the right IPD and the left IPD. So I would request you to submit your answers in the comment across any medium. I'm just going to take another one and a half minutes of your time to quickly recap on the thickness series. This is the fourth video which I am releasing. We had an introductory video, we had part one, we had part two and part three. So these are the four aspects which you know we started discussing on the initial introductory video where the things can go wrong. Prescription aspect that we need to consider. If it is prescription, then points to remember is cylindrical axis can has to be considered right and to get more details on it, that you can refer the video for index it is important that we maintain good balance between optical clarity and thickness please refer to the video on index which was part one index for frame selection as discussed we should be considering three aspects of the frame that is size shape and type and finally for the pd consideration as we discussed today, frame PD and lens PD has to be closest possible. Smaller the difference between them, better will be the outcome of the thickness. Remember, we are discussing all this because we want to meet expectation of the customer. And I'm sure if you're going to take care of all these factors, it will be easier for us to ensure that customer gets a spectacle which is cosmetically acceptable we ensure that we give them good vision and adaptation and customer gets a lens which is less weight and can be used for a longer wear thank you guys thank you everyone for watching this series of videos till the end i would request and urge everybody to please see the previous videos if you have not seen so that you can connect all the dots and be very thorough and clear with your dispensing. I would also request you to like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel so that whatever new videos that I'm going to come up on dispensing will be easily shared to you and you can share your valuable feedback with me. Thank you and have a great day.